So here's putting the rings on. Got the piston and the vise with soft jaws. There's no tension on the piston. There's no pressure on the big end of the rod. You can take the expander and put it into the bottom groove. Right? That's the expander for the oil rings. I'm going to spin that around. Uh, the oil scraper rings are a flexible stainless steel, so we can just spiral those. So this one's going to go in the bottom groove. And we're really just going to spiral it around the ring expander. The second oil scraper goes on the top of the expander in that bottom groove. There we go. We can finalize the position of those at the end of this before the pistons go in. Now, if the ring has a dot or a label or marking on it, that is directional up. So the second compression ring will use the expander. Do not put these on by twisting them. Expand it. Do not allow it to twist. Support it. And then that's going to go into the, the second groove. Okay, I'm going to put the gap for the second ring on the left side. Top ring has no directionality on this one. Again, I'll just expand it just enough to get it onto that piston. And there we go. Tickety-boo. Should be free to move.